welcome back to another episode of Last Day on the Survival Today. We return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys are all having an absolutely fan-freaking-tastic day of the most amazing variety. That only gets more fan-freaking-tastic from beyond out today. We got quite the variety of things on our smorgasbord, but nothing has me more excited than this base. Unless, unless, unless. We're also going to Jane, as per usual. We got a date with Jane, and uh, we're probably going to get scammed by her, as we usually do. But maybe today's the lucky day. She finally gives us the extremely rare chopper skin we've been trying to get for like 30 chopper levels if not we continue getting our chopper towards max level so slight win-win in the very slightest of fashions but i would definitely prefer the big win but then yin yo face i like the base name we are gonna be raiding and after doing a little bit of research into that base raid we're gonna be knocking that out on the way home so stay tuned ladies and gentlemen and there's actually some very rare loot available for us there from what my research has shown me so i am very excited to see exactly what that encompasses but for now hello bikers how is everyone doing on this fantabuloso uh what is it friday oh baby it's almost weekend time for you bikers. Although, I'm also intrigued to see what happens with these bikers because as we know, season one is almost over. Season one has, if you see over here, two days and four hours left, which means I believe on Sunday, Sunday night in over here in the US time, it is going to be kaput. It's gonna be kaplui, it is going to be gone. And that is where I'm a little bit interested to see how things unfold. And I wonder if the bikers will like migrate away or like if we'll come to the gas station. I'm very interested to see what happens because there's even some very specific stuff here, such as uh, whatchamacallit. Well, I, the, the bike that Lenny's selling, I think that one got a bit of a time extension though. And uh, a couple of other things like that. So I'm interested to see, especially some of the other bikes that are on set, not on sale, but on show over here that you can only get from uh, whatchamacallit. That can be gotten from, I believe, if you follow me, not I always click on the wrong thing, but some of the chopper skins that can only be gotten over here from the season one pass as well are on display. So it's going to be interesting to see how the gas station does change, but that's besides the point. The point is everyone, we need to convince Jane to love us, love us enough to give us what we are looking for. We got an upgrade with her as we usually do. Smash that like button and give us the power, please. Jane, look at all the likes that this video is getting, please guys. Let's tally it up because Jane, is today the day you finally decide to love me? Yeah! God dang it, man. I'll take the volume increase on the chopper, but Jane, why? Do you hate seeing me happy? Is that what this is? Do you just not like seeing me happy? Because that's how I feel right now. <laughs> Guys, I don't think Jane loves us back. The one time she gave us a skin, she gave us that, like, Hawaiian skin for, like, the basic chopper. I want the Leviathan. Do you guys see how cool the Leviathan looks? Like, come on, bruh. All right. But in happier news, we got a raid with some pretty rare loot in store for us. So let's head on over here and hopefully drown away the sorrows from Jane absolutely uh, destroying us. Maybe these likes instead. Maybe these likes were meant for another thing. Maybe these likes that she all smashed the video with. For snaps, they were meant for the loot inside of Yin Yo Face's base. If so, I wouldn't be too upset because I am looking forward to some of what there is available here. And, uh, well, overall, hopefully those likes as well will help lead us towards a glorious video today. So thank you. Thank you. Salute. Salute to those of y'all who have smashed. And if you haven't yet, hey, I encourage you to. And if you're absolutely not going to do it, that's cool too. No worries. Hope you have a fan freaking fantastic day and hopefully you keep enjoying the video. But okie dokie. I, I, I hear that uh, little birdie told me though that hitting the like button makes the video 69 times more enjoyable. Just just, just little, little thing I heard. Okay, doesn't matter because guess what? We put some C4 on the door and bada bing, bada boom. We are into the base. Within this base, there is a plethora of chests and within these chests, there should be some of that rare loot that we were talking about. Ooh, that's not what I had in mind, but that is not too shabby. Oh, zombies! Either check and rain! Yeah, I know. Listen, we got a little bit of noise to spare on this raid, so I don't mind using the shotgun rain to take out large groups of enemies such as those that are trying to run up on us because it just saves us a whole ton of durability of our other weapons, and I'm more than game for that, but we should easily be able to break into every chest that there's available to us at this base. Still not what I'm looking for. Which one of you chests have my rare loot? I know one of you guys are hiding it, and I want it. God dang it. But then we also might be able to break into... Ooh. 
Eh, this is a fair amount of tickets. I guess I could take those. But then we should also be able to, if we have the noise, break into a couple of extra workbenches like that woodworking one over there, iron one over there, maybe the recycler, and see if those ever have some stuff. Because sometimes you can't find some, like, kind of valuable things in there. I'm not going to say they're the greatest things ever, but... You can find some decent stuff, and low-key, I will probably take some of these paints because I still plan on one day getting that. Oh, we're getting swarmed by zombies. That's what we're getting right now. Oh, don't hurt me. Shotgun raid. Well, okay, that took out some zombies. I'll take it. Better than nothing. Holy guacamole. I'm out. Oh, no, he cut me off. Okay, we gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta die. Fast by to er. Okay, now that we're in the clear, but back to what I was saying with these paints, I do plan on still painting up some more chopper skins, especially whenever Jane decides to love us back and give us that Leviathan skin. That's probably the biggest one that I am looking forward to. And let's just go ahead and shotgun the rain. Oh, baby, big hit to you. To those doofuses. Oh, they took my pants. Dude, why do my pants always disappear first? I literally, I feel like whenever my armor breaks, every time it is my pants that disappear. Like, come on, dude. Well, unfortunately for us, we got no pantalones, so maybe this base will also have some pantalones in store for us, because right now I'm just free balling, you know, just running around with my boxers, really <laughs> enjoying the breeze over here. It's very, very liberating, you feel, but I do plan on painting up that Leviathan skin whenever it does come, and for that, we are going to need paints, despite, like, after we do get it from Jane. Still cross my fingers that that happens next time, maybe, and let's freaking go! This... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is what I was talking about. This football helmet. You might be like, star. It's football season. Well, okay, that has nothing to do with anything. I just, I guess, a football helmet, so I wanted to say that. But listen, this football helmet is extremely rare. It is literally one of the only lootable items that you otherwise cannot get through normal last day on Earth gameplay. Star. What are you talking about? Well, if you follow me over here and to the, I believe, equipment tab, you can see the special force. Oh, is it not? No, no, no. It's the rate. Yeah, it's the pack for unlocking. You can see that the pack for unlocking has a guaranteed football helmet that you will get at least every five crates. However, the thing is, is that this football helmet cannot be found anywhere else in the game through conventional means but if you are lucky during a raid it can be found and it is an extremely rare lootable item especially if you are on the free-to-play side of things if you come across this football helmet you need to grab it because it will be one of your only opportunities of grabbing it and i got a couple of football helmets back at home don't get me wrong but listen up i'm never turning down the opportunity to grab something new and amazing and this football helmet oh baby has got me feeling some type of way now let's go ahead and clean up the rest of the loot that we got available to us because we still got two chests to go and then speaking of rare loot i also do plan on today 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 is showing off another little thing i plan on thinking about wallet bleed making my bank account cry and doing what i always said that i would do we have maxed out the season savings pass we are going to purchase this and show off all of the new armor that it does provide. The season is coming to a close, and I definitely want this limited edition stuff to, I mean, mainly probably just toss on my mannequins. Although today, we'll try and use it throughout some events, because Charlie Jr. actually made a little bit of an unfortunate appearance. And uh, what better way of taking down Charlie Jr. than... Is that an acid bat? Bro! Okay, I've, I don't think I've ever actually found an acid bath throughout raiding. What's it take to craft an acid bath? Like, initially... Dude, this is like, I mean, it's not exactly useful for me, but this is 10 aluminum bars worth of loot. If you come across this base and you have yet to start building your acid bath, this could be incredible because you could save yourself 10 entire aluminum bars, which is not cheap. So unfortunately, it's not going to be useful for me unless I could build a second acid bath, which would be unnecessary, but... I mean, I wouldn't mind. It'd be pretty freaking dope to have. And I got plenty of electronic circuits that I could spend into it too. But that's actually low-key a really nice pickup that we just got ourselves. So for a 1C4 base, this is actually surprisingly nice. Holy guacamole. I see all the zombies coming. Check out right. There we go. There are no more zombies. Just the big boys. The tick boys known as the toxic abominations. But we're going to clear off this raid. Hopefully find a pair of pants at some point throughout our shenanigans. I actually gotta double check because my eyes were not searching for pantalones throughout any of our adventures of breaking these chests. So we're gonna have to double back and make sure that I did not miss any pants because I've missed more obvious things in the past. I'm gonna be honest, you know, my, my mind, it just has this, this super poopy trait. Maybe I gotta play more Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey and uh, continue evolving my mind because my mind has this unfortunate trait where if I'm looking for something, 
it will literally ignore that exact thing. Like, I will, like, literally scan entire chest looking for a specific thing, and my mind is just like, oh, I will make that specific thing invisible to you. Just to troll with me. I honestly feel like my mind just likes playing games with me. Playing mind games. I mean, yeah. But all right. Let's go ahead and put away some of this stuff as well. Reminder as well, if in case you are ever raiding. And if you ever have a raid that the raiders gave to you, put your stuff away to the chopper. The most valuable stuff, because the raiders do not know that you raided this, which then means that you can bribe the raiders for significantly cheaper than they would otherwise accept. So we're going to be putting away some of our valuables and freeing up some inventory room as well. And using our pantalones less self to go and break through the last couple of things that we got over there. And then we're going to pop open that season savings pack and see what them new things are all about. But in the meantime, I suppose I'll grab some of these. Some planks are never bad, especially because, I mean, the planks have pretty much just become my glorified charcoal burners because my planks create charcoal, which then fuel future pine planks becoming charcoal, which then fuels my steel bar production. So... Planks are actually pretty important to me, and having a nice stockpile of them is never a bad thing, because steel is a very valuable resource that I want more of. Um, I guess I could steal some carrots over here. Like, no point in not stealing some carrots. And besides that, I reckon that some of what we got from here, no complaints from me. Maybe I'll glug, 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 glug. The rest of my water spread a little bit of vitamin P. Okay, this actually looks extremely weird from this angle, but I swear it's vitamin P and nothing else. That was uh, interesting. You couldn't see anything. I think I was peeing, like, right on the floater bloater. Gives me the heebie-jeebies, bro. Um, I might end up tossing... Nah, I'm gonna keep the SWAT helmet. Even though it is about to break, it's still a helmet. I like helmets. And we do still have a little bit of noise, like I was saying, to spare. We should be able to break at least this. Dang it, man. I was really hoping that that thing would give us something promising. Definitely want to break these. And... Also not the promising. Maybe I break into the recycler. That leaves us at 98 noise and nothing in there either. Do no workbenches have anything? Besides this one with some pine planks, but they're just pine planks. Like nothing super special. We are being a little bit disappointed at the moment. Please leave message after the beep. I will collect some duct tape. Uh also. Um, nom, 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 nom. Waka 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 waka. I'm gonna eat up some of these uh, Pac-Man berries over here. I mean, they're circles. They could be Pac-Man. Could very well eat them if you toss these in front of them. You never know. And mm, from there, I suppose I don't want to take two oak logs because that's literally just one oak plank. Like that's less than one oak plank that we just have to process ourselves. I might take a couple of ATV wheels because we can always recycle those and have a chance at, I believe, getting steel from that subsequent recycling. So, not too bad of a deal if you ask me. I'll chow down and I'll show them the carriage. And uh, I think we'll call it there. I think I'm pretty happy with how this raid turned out. Let's go and break that last little thing that we got to break, which is that uh, non-refining furnace that we found. And eh, nothing over there super special that I want to grab. Why don't you have pants, man? I think I found everything here except pants. I found a hat. I found a shirt, and I found shoes, but no pantalones. Are pantalones just the most rare resource in the universe? I'm starting to think so, man, and hello. Okay, I'm just going to leave because I don't want the big one to hit me. Let's time that barrel roll to a barrel roll absolutely perfectly and make our way out of there on the lickety split. Now, oh, oh. A jumper event. Well, we got a couple of things that we definitely want to hit up. Let's go on home and put this stuff away. And after that stuff is put away, let's go and purchase the Season 1 Savings Pack and show off some of these new helmets and especially the new biker vest. And more specifically, why don't we go do a biker event, the chopper event, with some of our biker attire on? I think that that sounds pretty fitting. And we also have an airdrop that we could go to. And of course, Charlie Jr., who is a Season 1 boss, the biker stuff is Season 1 stuff. So it's only fitting we try and take down Charlie Jr. with some of the biker stuff on ourselves. So let's go ahead, put this stuff away, and talk to y'all. On without further ado, we are prepared to make the fateful purchase. This one's for you guys, so we can show off this new stuff, and you guys can see what it's like in action. And I will sacrifice my five dollars for it. Let's do it, baby. Ah! I think the pain and suffering's over. Okay, okay. It's in the past. It's in the past. They can't take any more. Or can they? Oh, I was about to say, it still looks like they can. No, you are only allowed to take it once. Although, I'm not gonna lie, if I could take it a couple more times. If it meant that I got more of these rare items. You guys know me. I am a hoarder at heart. 
there's a very great chance that I would potentially do that, but all right. Oh, it is a box, and in the box, we click OK, and then the stuff gets sent our way. Hello, biker, vest, bandana, and motorcycle helmet. How are you guys doing today? Let's see. Oh, we are looking clean. I'm not going to lie. I really like the way that this looks right now. The freaking biker vest, football helmet, and tactical armor makes for a pretty wombo combo looking type of thing. You know what we should do? Oh! Don't you dare attack me! I got rare armor right now, and I do not want its durability going down because, unfortunately, it does have durability that we need to worry about. That is something I really wish that Kafir would do also. I I wish! And let me know what you guys think about this in that comment section down below as well. With some of these rare items, such as the biker armor, some of the seasonal stuff, like the Chinese New Year armors, like the leprechaun hat that we got for St. Patrick's Day, all that type of jazz. What would you guys think about potentially having them instead of treating them like armor with their own durability and stuff? What if they were like skins? And you know what it would be an awesome idea? I feel like if there was actually like a box, like two boxes for each thing. So for the helmet, there was a box here and then like a box next to it. Let's pretend that there's room. And then another box next to that, another box next to that, another box next to that. And in those boxes, you could actually put skins for your armor. So on the left-hand side, you would have stuff like your tactical trousers. Dude, oh, <laughs> a funny name tactical trousers but you would have stuff like your tactical trousers your swap boots etc that would give you the effects that would give you your armor your movement speed all that type of jazz but then in the right column you can put these kind of more special things like the bandanas like the helmets that would subsequently then give you a aesthetic look so while we would have like these pants on maybe we could have some biker pants like they would look like biker pants you know what i'm saying and these things wouldn't have durability but they would be more aesthetic i think that 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 would be an absolutely incredible change and personally something i really hope we see happen dude this motorcycle helmet is dope this is officially gonna be our motorcycle riding gear because wow dude okay this looks freaking dope that's why we can't even wear it because it's gonna break eventually like we're gonna wear it for today for the rest of the day and get ourselves into some shenanigans but that's exactly the issue that i'm talking about we gotta worry about this durability being taken down and ultimately this armor disappearing and i feel like with how rare it is it should be more of like a skin you know what i'm saying I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that in that comment section down below. And also, let me go in. Before we go out for today's adventures, let's show off what the other thing looks like over here. Let's get the bandana and goggles. I'm not gonna lie, this one looks a little bit goofier. <laughs> I feel like a pirate. Arg! I'm a red beard, the pirate! Arr, 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 arr. I feel like that was closer to Mr. Krabs, but whatever. And there you guys have the complete look. Definitely motorcycle helmet, significantly cooler though, because that looks dope. I wish there was a way we could flip the visor up. That would look freaking awesome as well. But all right, without further ado, we got our stuff. Let's make our way out of here. And hopefully this stuff doesn't somehow get broken today. And then we'll probably toss it on a mannequin after that. So we could at least look at all of its glory within our trophy room central to our base. But let me know what you guys think about these new armors in that comment section down below. And especially let me know what you guys think about that kind of idea I had that I feel like a lot. No, the chopper of it. I took too long. I took too long. Okay, we go to Charlie then. And hopefully another chopper event will appear. It probably will. There's, there's no way that the chopper event's not going to appear again. No way. No way. I'm in denial. But let me know what you guys think about these new skins and about that idea for having, like, these potentially be, like, more skins instead of armor that you could put next to your armor. So let's just say I had a tactical helmet on, and then I could put, the like, this helmet to the right of it, and it would look like this, but would have the armor of the tactical helmet. I think that that would be pretty cool, and I think that that would be a good solution to this kind of thing where you get these rare armors, but you're literally afraid to use them because they're gonna break especially me i'm a hoarder i'm not using this stuff bro it might disappear forever it'll be like a snapchat it's gone forever but let me know what you guys think about that in that comment section down below and reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way into the weekly trial dollar at your touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe to that lunch you went on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick random video for the past week pick random comment from that random video and that will be what for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not so much 
Switch and all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that you should give a look in case you haven't already. But here we have it, our very first biker battle. It's against Charlie, which is going to be annoying because he might do a lot of damage to us. So without further ado, hello, Charlie Jr. How you doing today, buddy? Oh, he is making the thing shake. I do not like that. Let's pump him full of all the bullets that we physically can. Oh, don't hurt me. And I know that at some point there are the annoying enemies that we got to worry about. Hello, buddy. Shotgun rain. Okay, I thought I would hit more than one of you. Don't you dare spit on me now when I got this armor. Unacceptable. Charlie, why must you do this? Despite the fact that I came here fully well knowing that you would be doing this. I hope my AK can actually do enough damage because by the looks of it, this thing is taking a lot of damage right now. And that is not the good. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm literally just like, this is a specific type of challenge too. Because I'm trying to minimize the amount of hits that we take because I do not want this armor to go kaput. Because I like this armor too much. And I at least want to look at it on my mannequins. Although, like I'm saying, man, they should really just turn this stuff into a skin. I feel like that would make a lot more sense. And it will, I feel like it would make them more valuable too. Because then, like, some people might be like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, no, don't hit me. Nice, we were able to avoid the hit there. I think if we, uh, whatchamacallit, barrel roll out the way, any damage they do doesn't, like, affect our durability either. But I'm not 100% sure. So I know we don't take any damage, so that's the good sign. Let's continue getting some bullets into here. This Kalashnikov is 110% going to break throughout the variety, throughout the duration, I should say, of this battle. Get out of here, Charlie. Stop hurting me. Even though I don't think you've hurt me once, you're, you're mentally hurting me with the fact that I got to worry about you. Oh, baby. Now it's shock and rain time. It's shock and rain. Luckily, I think at 800 health, he should be, like, running away, and we don't need to, like, worry about him anymore. I'll just hopefully oh, run around the rock. I was actually a little bit scared we were, got to, we were about to run out of bounds, because if you run out of bounds, he does regenerate his health, which would have been super poopy, but without further ado, a shotgun rain! That's right, Charlie, that's right, run away there, tiger. That's what you get. Mm, shoot, shoot, Charlie. Thinking you could break my armor. Oh, no! It took a little bit of durability. Also, why did this helmet take so much more damage than the vest? I don't know. But I'm scared. That's enough helmet use for now. Let's go over to the bandana. I don't I don't want these things to get damaged too much. And hopefully Kafir does here are pleased to turn these things into skins. Because I feel like that's the thing too. Like more people would potentially get these if they knew. that instead of, oh, it's an armor that I could use and will break. And I'll never have again. Instead, if they're like, oh, it's a skin that I could use forever. I feel like more people, you know, might be tempted to actually get it. So I feel like it'd be a win-win. Because then we get to use stuff like this more permanently. And Kafir's like, oh. Maybe people will like it more. Maybe that means people will potentially purchase it more. And I'm guessing that Kafir likes when people purchase stuff, as probably like all game companies do. So without further ado, though, we're done with this event. Let's go and collect everything that people dropped because they may have dropped notes. I'm not sure, but I think that they may have made notes easier to drop within this update as well for the last few days of the season because that's again like a lot of what season one was and why i'm hopeful that season two is going to be significantly bigger especially with the teasers they've been teasing that it is, it's gonna have some content we've been waiting for a very long time for <coughs> atv or riot but in addition to that i feel like this is kind of like their first experience and they're getting some feedback with more of a minor season and this is just what i'm thinking i don't know if this is fact but i could definitely see it being like kafir's using this season to get feedback with the season system how they could improve and then hopefully release that like make sure that they absolutely nail the atv update although you guys know me i am an extremely optimistic person so i may very well be being too optimistic with this but i believe that we have gotten everything from this zone zone dang it of course i stabbed myself on the way out let's get out of here let's see what's over in the airdrop and maybe 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 a chopper will appear chopper where are you buddy and if not, I mean, we could go see what the dealer wants too. See if he wants to strike up a deal or something like that. But yeah, with that notification bell, make sure to have a hit to stay up to date with the videos. So Y'all can enter and on for that weekly giveaway. And also those dope other survival games, Miss Survival's an awesome series that we are in the early parts of and are doing some amazing stuff and finding some amazing loot. And we're about to start going to war with some raiders in that game in this zombie apocalypse because that is also a zombie apocalypse. Fun fact. Also, you are being put away. I'm putting away my rare stuff until I know for a fact. Like, I just don't want to risk it, bro. I'm just 
just not trying to risk some of our rare salute. That is a no no in my book. But definitely give that a look. And also, Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey. That's another incredibly cool game where we literally play as like this clan, this tribe of apes, of prime apes from like 10 million years ago. And we get to slowly watch them and guide their evolution. And they literally like learn how to craft. I've just, just last episode, I crafted up spears and got into a tussle with like some boars and I scared a giant snake away. Like that, let me just say, the world 10 million years ago, oh, it was not a cakewalk by any means of the imagination. But let's go and grab, okay, we grabbed everything from the Ada box. Let's skedaddle on out of here and maybe, can we get the chopper event to appear again? Because it's only appeared once and usually the chopper event will appear three times in a day. I have still only seen it once today, so hopefully we see it a little bit more. Come on, chopper event, give me some love, baby. The chopper event gives us no love, baby. All right, well, let's see what the dealer's got in store for us. Hopefully he isn't about to disappoint us. And from there, maybe, I don't know. I'm really just crossing my fingers that hopefully that chopper event does appear. Because I was not expect. like, I thought we'd be able to get there in time, but... Uh, I guess not. That's just the way that it'd be sometimes. But yeah, definitely give Ancestors a look. That one's really cool. And we're just on part two, so we're pretty early in that series. And that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on Earth info as well. As soon as I type in info, does come out about the game, about forthcoming updates, all that type of jazz. We're keeping you in the loop. And as soon as a new update comes out, we're checking it out and showing off all that it has to offer. Just like now, we are showing off this new stuff that Season 1 added. Despite the fact it made my wallet bleed so be it. I'm more than willing to take any type of L, use all of my loot imaginable, and do whatever it takes to show the stuff off ASAP. And like with that potential ATV in Season 2 update, oh baby, we're going to be all over getting the ATV and building that puppy for y'all. But all right, Mr. Dealer, you actually need some kind of reasonable stuff. I might come back here with some iron and some leather to strike up a deal with you. I will be right back and maybe... Maybe the chopper dudes will be like, oh, it is Star. He needs to strike a deal with Dealer. Maybe we appear now. No, I don't think so. Usually by the time that the loading screen would be done, you hear like that little, like the little, the little like noise letting you know that like you have an event. I didn't hear it that time. A little bit unfortunate, but let's go home. Let's grab ourselves from that iron. Let's grab ourselves from that leather. And then we will return. And maybe after that, the chopper event will appear. I'm just trying to bait them out at this point, man. I want to go there and be a biker at the biker event, you know? I don't know. I think that that would be incredibly cool. But without further ado, let's grab ourselves some of that iron and leather and jazz like that. But yeah, with these new updates as they do come out, we're going to continue checking them out and showing off all that they do have to offer. Hey, we're healing at home. I forgot. That's such a nice benefit that we have. There's the iron. There's the leather. Let's go and make ourselves a deal, baby. Oh, dealer. I would like to hit deal. If this is deal or no deal, I'm hitting deal. I'm taking it. I better not freaking get, get the case with the penny inside of it, though. And to be honest, that, that that would probably be the lead pipe of Last Day on Earth. The, the 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 crate that gives you the lead pipe. That is a pretty equivalent thing, if you ask me. Yeah, this chopper vent is not appearing for some reason. I have no idea why. That is really weird, but yeah. Make sure you guys have that notification bell hit for all the updates and that type of jazz. And also... Not just the current survival games we're checking out, but also future survival games. We're always checking out the latest and greatest of survival games and all of their coolness and all of their dopeness that they do have to offer. But okay, Mr. Joe, I hear you are a dealer. And listen, are you a good dealer or a bad dealer? Today, we find out. I have the things that you needed. You have the box that I wanted. But does it contain the loot that I need? Oh, baby, if you guys haven't already, hit that like button and give us the luck. Give us the power we need to hopefully unearth something good. There's a dangerous toy inside. Hopefully that toy isn't a lead pipe. Without further ado, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Prussia barzo, prussia barzo, dime, it's such brago. God dang it, this is two times in a row, Joe. Two times in a row, Mr. Joseph. And I don't exactly appreciate it. Your douche canoe. Oh wait, I got my biker armor on. I should not have done that. 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 Okay, okay. I am I am done playing my shenanigans. I leave now. Maybe chopper event appears. If not, let's go and end things off at the very least at our base and putting our armor where it belongs. I wish I had a second mannequin because I would definitely toss the bandana on it. But we need to go to our trophy room and we are going to toss our motorcycle helmet and our biker vest onto the mannequin. It will be glorious. It is a ceremony that will bring countless tears 
to my eyes. So like five or six, I don't know. I got one, like one hand fits five. So let's say six tears to my eyes. Oh, hopefully though, one day, Mr. Mannequin, this armor that I give you will be turned into skins because for now, not so much. Okay, hold on. I gotta like, I gotta access this thing from like a funky angle. There we go. Because I don't want to accidentally pick up a generator. Let's give you the biker vest and let's give you the helmet. And there we have the mannequin. These are also, I think, the only special pantalones and only special boots that the game has ever given out. I don't think there's ever been anything special in that regard. So there you guys have it. The mannequin in all of its glory. Maybe we could change its pose up a little bit. Uh, what's pose number 12 over here? Oh, baby. Dang, posing hard. Oh, the debt. Let's get it. Let's get, let's get away from that. We can't have that on camera too much. I don't even know what that pose is. Mr. Mannequin, you got any cool poses over there? Come on, buddy. I know you got. Oh, baby. Yeah, point to my loot. I like it. And his hand is on his hip in such a fat, not fassy, sassy manner. I don't know where fassy came from. But uh, yeah, I guess with that said, with that done, I'll toss on some of my other stuff over here. Some of the armor that our mannequin was rocking before. I love this Chinese New Year armor. I wish I could use it without worrying about it being destroyed forever. Can't fear to place. Just let these be skins. I beg of ye. Because this armor is so cool. And I would love to walk around and use stuff like this. I would love to be the freaking Chinese leprechaun of last day on earth. With my weird obsession with shotguns. But uh, yeah. With that said, with that done. That's going to start wrapping it up. For me for now. Thank you guys a whole thing for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.